Listen to stories and appreciate idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Encountering Chinese, Encountering Idioms. Today, the idiom we are going to encounter is 守株待兔. Let's break it down and read it slowly. 守株待兔 手猪带兔, 手猪带兔, 手, means to guard or to watch over. 猪, refers to a stump. 带, means to wait. 兔, refers to a rabbit. 手猪带兔, Literally means guarding a stump and waiting for a rabbit. This idiom has two derived meanings. The first meaning is metaphorical, describing the mindset of relying on luck and hoping for gains without making any effort. The second meaning metaphorically represents the lack of adaptability and resourcefulness due to insufficient experience. The idiom 守株待兔 originated from the book 韩非子五度 by Han Fei during the Warring States period in the state of Han. The original text states 宋人有耕田者,田中有猪,兔也,处住折景而死 the meaning of this phrase is that there was a farmer in the state of Song who was tilling his land when he noticed a stump in the field. There was a rabbit that accidentally ran into the stump and broke its neck, resulting in its death. The historical anecdote behind this phrase is as follows. Once upon a time, during the spring and autumn period in ancient China, there was a diligent farmer in the state of Song. The farmer owned a fertile piece of land, and he worked diligently in his field every day. As a result, his family had a good harvest every year. Within the farmer's field, there was an old sturdy tree stump. During his breaks from laboring in the field, the farmer would often rest beside the stump to regain his strength. One day, while the farmer was working in his field, he suddenly saw a rabbit rushing by in a hurry. The rabbit seemed to be chased and completely oblivious to the large tree stump in the farmer's field. As a result of its carelessness, the rabbit collided with the stump breaking its neck and dying on the spot. The farmer, upon seeing the motionless rabbit on the ground, quickly approached to examine it. He was thrilled to find the rabbit lying there lifeless. The farmer thought to himself, Today, I am truly lucky. I effortlessly came across a big rabbit. Now I can enjoy a delicious meal tonight. So, he dropped his hoe, picked up the rabbit, and happily returned home. During dinner, the farmer relished the delicious food made from the rabbit he found, and he pondered. I toil hard in my field every day, yet I don't reap much throughout the year. But today, I effortlessly stumbled upon a rabbit. If I could find a rabbit like this every day, why should I continue laboring in the field? Instead of working hard every day, I should just wait by the stump for rabbits. Thus, the next day, the farmer set out to his field early in the morning. However, he didn't bring any tools with him. He walked straight toward the large tree stump in his field. The farmer squatted beside the stump patiently waiting for the next rabbit to collide with it. On the first day, the farmer didn't even catch a glimpse of a rabbit's shadow, leaving him disappointed as he returned home. On the second day, he still didn't encounter any rabbits. 
The farmer continued this routine, day after day, waiting faithfully by the stump. However, he never witnessed another rabbit meet its end by colliding with the stump. As the farmer persevered in his vigil by the stump, his neglected field became overrun with wild weeds, gradually turning barren. Despite this, the farmer remained steadfastly by the stump, firmly believing that he would eventually encounter a rabbit. Concerned by the farmer's behavior, the neighbors visited his home and advised him to continue working in the field, explaining that waiting for rabbits was not a wise approach. However, the farmer obstinately insisted that if he waited a little longer, a rabbit would surely come. In the end, the field was completely abandoned, and the farmer still hadn't encountered a rabbit. The farmer realized the severity of his mistake and deeply regretted everything he had done. He understood the foolishness of his stubbornness in waiting by the stump. However, it was already too late to resume farming as he had missed the optimal planting time. In this story, the farmer clung to a mentality of relying on luck and avoiding labor hoping to effortlessly catch rabbits that would collide with the stump. This is the origin of the idiom, 守株待兔. There is another story. Once upon a time, during the Warring States period in ancient China, there was a renowned military strategist in the state of Qin named Bai Qi. Bai Qi made numerous contributions to the state of Qin and was one of its most outstanding generals. He achieved multiple victories on the battlefield, leading the Qin army to become increasingly powerful and continuously conquering neighboring states. However, despite Bai Qi's impressive military achievements, he encountered difficulties when attacking the capital of the Zhao state, Han Don. The defender of Han Don, General Lian Po, was an exceptionally intelligent and adaptable leader. He utilized the unique characteristics of Han Don's city layout and employed more flexible tactics. Lian Po ordered his soldiers to set up ambushes in the Jieting area and employed guerrilla warfare methods against Bai Qi's army. The guerrilla tactics proved effective. Due to the unfamiliar terrain, Bai Qi's forces were unable to locate the Zhao army accurately, leading them to fall into a predicament. This historical event is known as the Crisis at Jieting. However, Bai Qi failed to realize the predicament he was in. He persisted in following his established experience and strategies, which resulted in severe losses for his army, and the situation became highly unfavorable. Observing this, other generals in Bai Qi's army reminded him, saying, General, look! General Lian Po's army is not large in number. But they are familiar with the terrain in Handan and have effectively utilized this advantage. We should change our current strategy and devise more effective methods of attack. If we do not change our offensive approach in a timely manner, we will not achieve victory. However, Bai Qi dismissed their advice. In his view, he possessed extensive combat experience and his own established strategies, and he saw no need for change. He believed that by relying on his past experiences, victory could be attained. Bai Qi stubbornly refused to change his strategy and continued to attack Handan based on his previous experience. This led the Qin army into an even more dangerous situation. Ultimately, Bai Qi failed in his battle to capture Han Don. He was forced to retreat, and the Qin army missed the opportunity to quickly occupy the capital of the Zhao state. 
In this story, Bai Qi stubbornly adhered to narrow experiences and did not know how to adapt. As a result, the Qin army led by him failed to capture the capital of Zhao, Handan. It is the idiom of Shou Zhu Dai Tu. Two stories have been told. Next, let's review the idiom we encountered today. Shou Zhu Dai Tu. Shou Zhu Dai Tu. Finally, let's use Shou Zhu Dai Tu to make the sentences. 与其我们这样守株待兔，不如努力做事。与其我们这样守株待兔，不如努力做事。经验固然重要，但却不能守株待兔，不知变通。经验固然重要，但却不能守株待兔，不知变通。That's all for today's encountering idioms. If you enjoy it, please like and subscribe. See you next time.